The cat and the fox were once talking together in the middle of a forest. Let things be never so bad, said the fox. I don't care. I have a hundred tricks to escape my enemies, if one should fail. I, replied the cat, have but one. If that fails me, I am undone. I am sorry for you, said the fox. You are truly to be pitied. And, if you were not such a helpless creature, I'd give you one or two of my tricks. As it is, I suppose each must shift for himself. Just then, a pack of hounds burst into view. The cat, having recourse to her one means of defense, flew up a tree and sat securely among the branches, from whence she saw the fox, after trying his hundred tricks in vain, overtaken by the dogs and torn in pieces. One thing well learned brings safety. The Two Thieves and the Bear A couple of thieves, knowing of a calf that was kept in an ox's stall, had determined to steal it away in the dark, and accordingly appointed the hour of midnight for meeting at the place. One of them was to keep watch on the outside, while the other was to go into the stall and lift the calf out of the window. On the night proposed, they accordingly went to the place, and one of them entered the window of the ox's stall, while he that remained on watch, not without much fear of detection, desired his companion to make as much haste as possible. But he that was within answered that the animal was so heavy and unmanageable that he could not lift him from the ground, much less to the window. The other's impatience now increasing by the delay, he began to swear at his comrade for his clumsy awkwardness, and at last told him to give the business up if he could not do it quickly and come out of the stall, for if they stayed till daylight they would certainly be discovered. The other, with many oaths, replied that he believed it was the devil himself they had to deal with, for, said he, I cannot now even get out myself. He has got such fast hold of me. The companion, daring to stay no longer, ran off and left him to his fate. The fact was this. The calf had been removed from the stall soon after the thieves had seen it there, to make room for a bear that had been brought into the town as a show. And it was this great beast that the thief had the misfortune to encounter and who kept hugging him till the morning when he was discovered by the master of the bear and taken to prison. A knave may gain more than an honest man for a day, but the honest man will gain more than the knave for a year. The Travelers and the Plane Tree Two travelers, worn out by the heat of the summer's sun, laid themselves down at noon under the wide-spreading branches of a plane tree. As they rested under its shade, one of the travelers said to the other, What a singularly useless tree is the plane! It bears no fruit, and is not of the least service to man. The plane tree, interrupting him, said, You ungrateful fellow! Do you, while receiving benefits from me, and resting under my shade, dare to describe me as useless and unprofitable? Some men despise their best blessings.